Hey guys, happy Friday the 3rd. Um, here's your DLP uh, walkthrough today. So number one is which of the words is correct in the sentence? So advise or advice. Um, so if you don't know what those words mean, look them up to see which one would be the correct one and then pick which one would it be. Uh, number two is what is the denotation of trial? Denotation is just another word for definition. So look up the definition for trial and you will have that one done. Number three, which example shows correct usage? Pick one. So in this one, you are looking at the punctuation um, in the sentence. So if there's a comma, you're going to pause. So anyways, the case has gone to trial. If there's an exclamation point, give it some excitement. That lawsuit was over real quick. Um, at number three, the judge really was hard on the defendant. And number four, surely you aren't going to sue. So you need to think about which ones sounded like they took a lot of effort to say um, and didn't really make sense. I mean, they make sense, but they could be written in a different way to make um, it sound better. Um, so you're just going to pick one of those for the correct usage. Obviously, number four is what is the meaning of plaintiff? So you're just giving me the definition. And then number five, the blank of a written selection is the approach a writer takes towards the topic. So what you first need to do is go through and eliminate some of those answers. Some of those answers have nothing to do with the approach a writer takes towards a topic. They are actually things within the story or what the writer is writing. So for example, you wouldn't have the plot of a written selection um, is how the writer takes an approach towards the topic. The plot is actually what the story is about. So you can take that one and push it to the side and now you are left with four to decide. So if you have any questions, I am available today from 8 to 9 a.m. and then 1 or 12 to 1 o'clock. You know that I um, can be reached in between times too if I'm at my computer. So just know those are my scheduled hours though. Have a great day. Have a good weekend.